This sequence kicks right off in down dog, so I highly recommend you do a hamstring warm up first, or anytime that you see me in down dog, take that and your tabletop on hands and knees. So from your down dog, pressing into your palms, palms are shoulders distance apart, fingers are spread nice and wide. You wanna press into your palms to take the weight out of your wrists and your shoulders, sending your hips up and towards the back of the room. Feel the weight in your hamstrings and then press down through the heels. When you're ready, go ahead and lift your right leg up high towards the sky, really opening up through the back of the left hamstring. If the right leg feels really heavy, you can take a bend in your right knee as you lift towards the sky and that will take some of the weight out of the, um, the leg for you. Go ahead and put your right foot back down on the mat, press into palms, setting back up into your down dog. Feel the weight in the back of the legs, feel the hamstrings activated. If you need to, you can bicycle out the legs, bending one knee and then the other. And when you're ready, go ahead and lift and extend the left leg up high towards the sky. Remember your upper body, keep pressing into the palms, straight back, nice long lines from the wrist to your shoulders, to your back, through your hip, through your heel. If you need to, bend the left knee. And then go ahead and lower left toes back down to the ground, setting back up into down dog. Take any movement, bicycling out the legs, pressing down through your heels. Stay up in your down dog or lower down to tabletop and press yourself back to your child's pose to take a break. If you want more heat, stay in your down dog. Raise the right leg towards the ceiling. I'm gonna take this first round in tabletop, so right leg extends back behind me, then I take my knee on the outside of my right elbow. Lift to extend, inhale, take that knee towards the center, towards the midline. Exhale, extend the leg long, pressing out through the right heel. This time the knee crosses the body, so tapping right knee to left elbow. Keep engaging your abs this entire time, drawing your lower belly in towards your spine. You can do this up and down dog if you really wanna push yourself, strengthen through the shoulders and the abs. You're getting just as much work down here in tabletop as well. Tuck the toes, lifting up to your plank. On your exhale, bend at your elbows to lower your body down towards the mat. Inhale, lifting your chest up high towards the ceiling. Take the back bend here. Exhale, tuck your toes, press yourself up and back to downward facing dog. When you're ready, left leg lifts up high towards the ceiling. Option to take this down on your knees and tabletop. Draw your left leg to left knee to left elbow. Little crunch here. Exhale, press yourself back to down dog. Extend the left leg long. Left knee comes in towards the midline of the body. Suck in your lower abs, crunch the abs in. Exhale, extend long, back to three leg down dog. Then your left knee is going to cross the body, tap towards your right elbow. Reach and extend the left leg long back behind you. Lower the left foot down, press into your palms. Stay up and down dog or exhale to lower your knees, press yourself back to your child's pose. If you're up in your down dog, take your time flowing through your vinyasa, pressing yourself forward into your plank. Exhale to lower your whole body down towards the mat. On the inhale, lifting up to the back bend of your choice, cobra, up dog. And on your final exhale, you would tuck your toes and press yourself back to down dog. If you're in child's pose, lifting yourself up, tuck your toes, we'll all meet in down dog. And then walk your feet forward to meet your hands. Forward fold, feet firmly planted under your knees. 
Bend in your knees to lift yourself all the way up to stand. Palms connect above your head. Inhale. Exhale, lower your palms down in front of your chest. Pause here for a breath. Mountain pose, feeling grounded, feeling sturdy, calming the heart rate for a moment. Turn towards the lengthwise of your mat so you can step your feet out wide and still keep your feet on your mat. Stepping your feet out only as wide as your inner thighs will allow. So if you feel extra stretch pulling tightness in your inner thighs, then just walk your feet in a little bit more. Right toes turn towards the short edge of your mat so you can bend into your right knee and still keep your toes and your knee tracking in line with each other for warrior two. Arms extend long like a capital T, straight out from your shoulders. Nice long lines of energy from fingertips to fingertips. Exhale. Right arm lifts towards the ceiling as your left leg reaches down excuse me, left arm reaches down your left leg for reverse warrior, keeping a bend in your front right knee. Exhale, bring yourself back to warrior two. Bend your right elbow to rest it onto your right thigh. Left arm lifts up and overhead for your extended side angle. Option to bend deeper into that right knee, challenging that right thigh to strengthen a bit more as you reach and stretch along the left side of your body from fingertips down to the outer edge of your left foot. Continue to breathe here. Exhale, opening back up to warrior two. Straighten your right leg. Turning your right toes in, both feet are parallel. Arms stretch wide like a capital T. Hinge at your hips to fold forward, wide leg forward fold, bringing your palms down to the mat underneath your shoulders for support. Keep pressing the weight back towards your heels so you really feel the hamstrings and the backs of your legs open up. Hips keep lifting towards the ceiling. Option to take your hands to your ankles if that feels good for you. You can walk your hands further back underneath your hips. Sometimes that helps you get into a deeper shoulder stretch. You can make this pose what you need to as you breathe here. Notice where you feel the sensations. Arms stretch out wide like a capital T. Tighten your abs to lift your torso all the way back up to stand. Star pose. Palms come into your heart center. I'm just turning around so you can still see me. <laughs> Not looking at my backside. So we're just going to take this sequence on the left now. So left knee bends, making sure that your knee is tracking in line with your toes. Arms stretch out wide for warrior two on the left. Your right leg is straight. Reach the right arm back behind you, lowering that arm anywhere down on your leg as the left arm reaches up high towards the ceiling for reverse warrior. Nice deep bend into your left knee. Feel that thigh engaged. Exhale, open your arms back out wide to warrior two. And bending your left elbow, placing it on top of your left thigh. Side angle pose, right arm reaches up and over your head, extending that arm long by your ear. Really feel everything lengthen from your right fingertips all the way down to the outer edge of your right foot. That left thigh is strengthening. Exhale, open back out to warrior two. Straighten that front leg. Turn your left toes in. Both feet are parallel. 
One more time, hinging at your hips to fold forward down to your wide leg forward fold. Palms come down right underneath your shoulders for support. Fingers stay nice and wide. Keep pressing the weight back towards your heels. Really feeling the backs of those legs talking to you perhaps, depending on how tight your hamstrings are. Take any variation in the upper body that feels good for you. Shut your arms back out wide like a capital T. Tighten up your ab muscles as you lift your torso back up to stand. Back in star pose, take a breath. And step the left foot in towards the right, both feet together, arms lift above your head, palms together. Lowering your palms to heart center. Exhale, release your arms down by your side. Mountain pose, take a breath, take some water. Inhale, arms reach and extend towards the ceiling. Exhale, bend at your knees, forward fold, bringing your palms down to the mat. Step your right foot back, left foot will step back to meet it, pressing your hips up and back. We're back into our down dog. Reach and lift the right leg towards the ceiling. Bend your right knee, tighten up your abs, step the right foot in towards the middle of your hands. Nice, low, grounded lunge, runner's lunge. When you're ready, press into that front foot, tighten up your core, inhale, lift the arms, palms come to heart center. Pausing for a breath. And when you're ready, you can reach your arms up high towards the ceiling, high crescent lunge. Keep pressing out through the left heel so the left leg stays activated. Right thigh is strengthening. Keep bending into your right knee. Gently lower the left knee down towards the mat for three, two, one. Adding some movement to this lunge. Take a last round here. Exhale, release your palms down on either side of the right foot. Then from here, shifting the weight into the right foot, you wanna lift the left leg off the mat, coming into your three-legged warrior. Exhale, step the left toes back down so you're back into your high lunge. Easy transition here. Bend into that front thigh, palms at heart center. Exhale, release your palms down to frame the right foot. Step both feet back to your down dog. Shift your weight forward, bringing your shoulders over your wrist for your plank pose. Bend at your elbows to lower all the way down on your inhale, lifting up to the back bend of your choice. Exhale, press back to down dog if you choose to take the vinyasa. When you're ready, left leg extends up high towards the ceiling. Bend your left knee, tighten up those lower ab muscles. Step your left foot forward in between your hands. Low grounded runner's lunge on the left. Keep pressing the right heel back behind you so really feel the right leg activated. Press into the left foot to lift your chest up to your lunge. Palms at heart center. 
left knee is right over your left ankle. Your knee is tracking in line with your toes. That left thigh is working, it's strengthening. When you're ready, bend the right knee, tap that knee down three times towards the mat. Don't let it touch, just let it hover. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift yourself back up. Go ahead and lower your palms down to the mat to frame the left foot. And shifting your weight forward, you're going to lift the right toes off the mat, coming into warrior three on the left. Left leg is your standing leg. If you fall out, no worries, just jump back in. Right leg reaches long back behind you. It's extended in space, suspended in space. Palms are either at your heart center or they're reaching long in front of you by your ears. And when you're ready, exhale, lower the right foot down, coming back to your lunge. Left foot, left knee is in front, arms lift up high towards the ceiling, high crescent lunge. Exhale, lower your hands to frame the left foot and step back to your down dog. Option to flow through a vinyasa, moving through your plank, lowering your body down, lifting up to the back bend of your choice before pressing yourself back to down dog. Or you can hang out in down dog, or you can take a child's pose. You got options here. Start to walk both feet forward to meet your hands. You'll be in a forward fold. Pressing down through the heels, straighten your legs, palms come to your shins, flat back. Bend your knees, sink your hips. We're preparing for our chair pose. Tighten up through your core. When you're ready, palms come to heart center. Keep sending your glutes back behind you. Knees behind the toes. When you're ready, extend your arms up high towards the ceiling, long by your ears. And we'll add some movement to this chair pose. So swinging your right arm down by your right hip, lifting it back up by your ear. Left arm swings down by your left hip. Lift it back up by your ear. Working through the shoulders actively while our lower half of our body strengthens from our ankles to our thighs to our hips. Exhale, release, fold forward, straighten your legs. If it feels good, you can bend one knee and then the other to stretch out the hamstrings. Maybe it feels good to bend both knees together. Any movement that you'd like to add to your forward fold. And round two of chair, bend your knees, sink your hips. Palms come in towards your heart center, then lifting your torso up to your chair. Palms at heart center, take your right elbow on the outside of your left knee. We're gonna twist in our chair. Making sure that your knees are still tracking in line with each other. Your right knee will have the tendency to wanna shift forward so make sure you pull that right knee and that right hip back in line, back in line with the left. Come back to center. And take your left elbow on the outside of your right knee, twisting towards the right. Again, be mindful of where your knees are at in space. Are they still in line with each other or did the left knee shift forward? If so, shift the left knee, shift the left hip back. Come back to center in your chair. Exhale, fold forward, straighten your legs, bringing your palms down to your mat. Give your hips and thighs a little break. 
and step yourself back to your plank pose, shoulders over wrists. Nice, tight core. Bend at your elbows to lower your body down in one piece. Untuck the toes, tops of the feet onto your mat. And then just straighten your arms long on either side of you. You can turn one cheek towards the mat to rest the side of your face onto the mat. Take a little neck rotation here. Taking some constructive rest in the middle of our practice. Palms come back underneath your shoulders, chin towards the center of your mat. Elbows bent, hugging in towards your side. Your legs are parallel, nice and long down your mat. Tops of the feet pressed down. The lower legs are activated in this shape. When you're ready, press into your palms, lift your chest. Draw your navel in towards your spine so you protect your low back and you feel the lift from your upper back. Feeling your shoulder blades squeeze in together. Nice long neck. Exhale, lower your chest down, straighten your arms long by your sides. Turn your opposite cheek towards the mat. Give yourself a little break. Just relax and breathe. Chin comes back to the center of the mat. Bending at your elbows to place your palms underneath your shoulders. Legs are reactivated if you've lost that engagement. Drawing in your low belly, press into your palms, lifting your chest up high towards the ceiling. Squeezing your shoulder blades together, feel the chest open up. Feel the back strengthen. Feel the low back stretch. Exhale, lower your chin down, resting the side of your face onto the mat. Arms extend long by your sides, giving our shoulders a much needed break to all of the work they've gotten in this practice. Just noticing your heart rate start to calm down, settle down towards the end of our practice, taking a rest here before our biggest, deepest back bend yet. When you're ready, drawing your navel in towards your spine, press down through your pelvis. Lift your chest, lift your arms, lift your feet, lift your lower legs, lift your knees, maybe you lift your thighs up off the mat. So feeling a lift happen from your back while the midline of your body stays grounded. Inhale to lift you a bit higher. Use your exhales to stabilize you in this shape. Take one more breath here. Exhale, lower everything down. Press yourself back into a child's pose. Take a few breaths here. From our child's, we're gonna press ourselves up to plank. Shoulders underneath your wrist, nice strong foundation. Rolling the weight into your left palm, left heel. You know, lift your right arm towards the ceiling, coming into our side plank. So balancing on left palm, left side of the foot. If you want to, you can step the right foot forward so you have a tripod plank. And exhale, coming back to plank. Holding in plank just for a breath before you shift the weight to your right palm and right heel. Lifting the left arm towards the ceiling, stacking your shoulders, coming into side plank
exhale nice and strong lower back to plank holding for a breath pressing yourself up and back to down dog if you need a break take child's pose that was really tough no judgment option to hang out in down dog or to flow through a vinyasa if you'd like to when we're ready we'll all bend our knees pausing in tabletop just for a moment and then having a seat on our glutes legs stretch nice and long removing the flesh from underneath your bottom so you're sitting up nice and tall on your tailbone feet are flexed back straight shoulders down and away from your ears If you need to, you can have your hands on the mat on either side of your hips to help support you. If your core feels a little weak, just sitting up straight. No worries, no judgment. Bend your right knee and rest your right shin in the crease of your elbows. So cradling your right shin in your arms. Just give yourself a few rocks left and right, side to side, working into that right hip. If you feel any pressure on your knee, do not do this. Straighten your right leg long. We'll do that on the left side, left knee hugs in, and then grabbing onto your left shin. You can hold it with both of your hands. If it rests comfortably in the creases of your elbows, let it go there. But again, if you feel any pressure on your left knee, don't do this. Straightening out both legs again. Coming back to our strong Dandasana pose, our staff pose. Cross your right thigh over your left thigh. Stacking your knees together. So right foot is towards the left side of your mat. Left foot is towards the right side of your mat. Sitting up nice and tall. This is often referred to as cow face pose. So very intense hip stretch. If this is too much for you and your hips, you can always be in a seated cross leg pose. Placing your palms down on the mat in front of you, that will add some more weight to your hips so you'll feel this stretch even deeper on the outside of your hips. The further you walk your hands away from your body, the deeper you'll get in this stretch. So you decide how much intensity you want to have with this pose. And we'll flip towards the other side, bringing your left knee on top, right knee on the bottom. Flip to the other side, however, <laughs> is most comfortable and least confusing for you to get to the other side. But you're just taking the opposite cross in your legs. So again, palms can stay at heart center or you can take them down to the mat in front of you. And send your exhales towards any tightness that you're feeling in your outer hips. Keep breathing here and start to walk your hands back towards your shins to uncross your legs. Both legs nice and long in front of you for a moment and bend your knees, feet on the mat, slowly rolling your upper back down to rest on your mat. Walking your heels in towards your glutes, just grazing your fingertips with your heels. Feet are hip distance apart, knees are hip distance apart.
When you're ready, press into your feet, lifting your hips up high towards the ceiling for our bridge pose. Chin tucks into the chest to protect your neck. Stretching through the chest, relax your glutes, lifting from the front of the thighs. Whole front side of the body opens. Notice if your knees have splayed out towards the sides, can you keep your knees drawing in line with your hips and your heels? Exhale, gently lower your hips back down towards the mat and release. Take your time lowering one vertebrae at a time, don't rush. And exhale, pause here for a breath. Option to take bridge for a second round, pressing into the feet to lift your hips up high and away from the mat. If you have wheel pose in your practice, you can take wheel here. But bridge is also a fine alternative. Exhale, gently lower one vertebrae at a time to release your bridge or your wheel. And then hug your knees in towards your chest. Lifting your forehead to your knees. Give yourself a nice big hug for making it to your mat today. For completing this challenging practice. Arms can be wide like a capital T. If that's too much for your chest, you can bend your elbows like a goal post. Just allow both knees to fall and rest over towards the right side in a recline twist. Breathing here. Gentle stretch for the back and hips. Inhale, bring your knees back to center. On your exhale, allow them to fall over towards your left, coming into a recline twist on the left. Use your exhale to release any last bits of tightness you feel in your body. This is where you are allowed to let it all melt into the mat. When you're ready, bringing your knees back to center, giving yourself the biggest hug of all. And on your exhale, extend arms and legs long. Take a nice big stretch, good morning stretch from your fingertips to your tippy toes. And on your exhale, you can release into your final resting pose, whatever that looks like for you. Just take a few mindful breaths to seal in your practice and honor yourself for taking a few moments of self-love, self-care. Namaste.